Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I hope you are doing so so well. I hope that wherever you are in the world today has been treating you well. In today's video I am going to be doing another easy peasy hopefully <laughs> Halloween makeup look and this one is inspired by Beetlejuice. Now I haven't seen <laughs> I haven't seen the old one or the new one that has just come out but I feel like it is very timely. I feel like Beetlejuice Halloween looks are going to be quite popular this year. That's what I'm hoping because the look that I've got in my head I am so excited about and I really really hope that it comes off. <laughs> so we're just gonna dive straight on in. This isn't a specific like you need this product if you want to create this look it's just hopefully going to be a little bit of inspiration if you have eyeliner and if you have some sort of rainbow colorful eyeshadow palette you can create this look that's what i'm going for i'm not specifically saying like you need this eyeshadow palette or whatever it's just the inspiration so let's dive straight on in i'm going to start with the base it's basically just a normal base routine for me. I've just got my moisturiser on at the minute which is the, oh I nearly dropped it, made by Mitchell Keen Screen. I've put a little bit of that on. My skin has been falling off my face recently. It's not doing too good so I just want a little bit of foundation. I'm going to use the e.l.f. Soft Glam Satin Foundation and I wear this in the shade 15 Fair Warm and I'm just going to do like I say, just my usual like base routine. This whole look is about the eyes. That's what we're focusing on today. I do already have one video up where I do a like spider's web with like rainbow colours. So you could absolutely use exactly the same products for that look or this one. It's like I say, it's not about the products. It's about I was about to say the technique but I really don't feel like there is going to be very much technique in this either. It's about like the combination of colours. That's what's going to make this look especially Halloween-y. <laughs> and I've purposefully put this dress on. I feel like I was only wearing this like a couple of days ago <laughs> in a video. But these are the colours that we're going for. The purples and the greens. That's the vibe <laughs> for today. So I thought it's one of my favourite dresses. I may, I may as well just wear it again. And then for concealer, I'm going to use the Sleek In Your Tone Longwear Concealer. I have this in 1N and I'm just going to put this around my eyes. I do have spots going on at the minute. Of course I do. <laughs> but I'm not bothered. They can live. They can be there. I'm not even going to try and cover them up with any sort of concealer. I can't be bothered dealing with them so just tapping the concealer out with the same sponge and then I will quickly go off and do my brows not doing anything special but I need to get so close to my mirror in order to do my brows that you're not going to be able to see anything so I may as well you know just pop off do the brows and then we'll be back for the rest of the face like it's just it's quick it's easy it's nothing in particular on the face but let me do my brows first okay so brows are done they're looking especially fluffy today don't know i don't know why i've done exactly the same as i always do for bronzer like looking for my Cream bronzer brush. This is the Revolution Ultra Cream Bronzer in light. I chose this one because I wanted something a little bit more cool toned. It just sort of goes with the Beetlejuice vibe, is my thinking. Like I said, not seen the film, so don't know. But something a little bit more cool toned. I did with the idea of using like a grey eyeshadow but I think that's just a step too far for me. If you're wanting to do something a little bit more costumey, a little bit more, just a little bit more, then sort of using a grey eyeshadow to do like a very harsh contour sort of a thing would absolutely look fantastic something that's more of like a whole face 
thing whereas this really is just going to be an eye look inspired by sort of a thing so that's why I went with this bronzer but like I said I just wanted something a little bit more cool toned and I really like this one and then for blush I picked this one you can't get this in the UK anymore <laughs> this is the flower beauty flower pots in wild rose I love this blush but like I say I don't think you can get it anymore and I was just wanting something like bright pink because <laughs> I feel like this will go with the tones that I'm going to be using on the eyes and this really is like the brightest pink that I have in my makeup collection currently so really buffing that out I love this blush this is the blush that I wore on my wedding day and you can't even buy it anymore if I if I wanted to you can't buy it in the UK flower beauty like are they ever coming back to the UK any insider information would be much appreciated so for the eyes I will zoom you in I'm wanting to do green on the lid packed on basically no blending just whack it on purple under the eyes really smoky the contrast between the green like a bright green and a purple and then a statement wing let me zoom you in and we can create together so the palette that i'm going to be using is the beauty bay bright 2.0 because the colors in here i feel like are much more sort of neon bright rather than the regular bright not the bright 2.0 and i'm going to be using this green blended out a little bit with this yellow and then this purple under the eye and i think that's all i'm going to be using just matte shades blending them out like packing them on blending them out and then like this statement sort of wing idea that i've got in my head i do have some clean brushes drying over on my windowsill let me see which one i want to use i'm going to start with quite a dense brush because i've already got all of my base on and i don't want this color going absolutely everywhere and i'm going in with that first green shade that i pointed out which is called playground and i'm just really going to pick up a lot of that color on my brush that palette is too big for me to be able to hold so i'm just picking up a little hand mirror tapping out any creases in that concealer across the lid before i tap this color all over the lid and i'm just taking this color up to the crease but not past it because i really want to keep this very bright so that the color is very very intense so i'm just packing that color on all over the lid i'll do the same on the other side then i'm just going to do a little backwards and forwards with that same brush with no more color on it just to soften that line a little bit and if they are looking similar which they're not back a little bit more on this side somewhat similar but i'm not too worried you know be beetlejuice it's, it's a dead guy isn't it so i'm not too worried about it looking messy grungy all of those words i'm gonna go in with a much more fluffy brush into that lighter lemony shade which is called canary tapping that off again and i'm buffing over that top edge i feel like this color will add sort of that brightness back in and i'm just using that lighter shade to really buff out that top edge i will oh, I'm making such a mess i will go back in with more of that green in a moment but just really buffing that bright yellow right out yes i feel like that second layer of green has really intensified that color but it's still like quite bright and quite 
um, like yellowy further out. I love these colours. <laughs> I mean, you don't need to convince me to use green anyway. I love green. <laughs> but that looks really, really nice. You also don't need to convince me to put green with purple. So I'm going to take a flat... I wouldn't even call this like a pencil brush. It's It just says Hey Shorty on it. It's just like a flat brush, quite dense. And I'm going to go into the mulberry shade in this palette, which is so bright purple. <laughs> really tapping that off because that is going to go under the eyes. And again, really, really intensify that color. Tap it right out. I'm gonna sort of semi put that on like the outer corner, like blend it out here, but also I'm gonna have that wing there in a minute, so I'm not too worried about that. I'm just going in with a much fluffier brush into the shade Shock, which is a bright, bright hot pink on the bottom row. And I'm just really smoking out that colour. I feel like you really want to, I mean, obviously you can see the difference between the two colours. I want that contrast to be very, very high. <laughs> I want to be able to see a lot of difference between the two colours, even when I've got all of like the next step done. So just buffing over some of that hot hot pink and and honestly at this point i'm hoping that it's not going to stain because i've got to go to work tomorrow and it's not quite halloween yet could be fun and again i am not worried if this is messy grungy smudgy not blended all of the above i'm just going to tap over that outer corner with that same brush that i did the first green with and then this is where I am going to recommend some products. This next step, if you don't have a good white and black liquid liner, this is where I highly recommend that you go and get these products. This black I use pretty much every single day, this black liner. It's the 17 Ink Legend Tattoo Eyeliner. This is absolutely 10 out of 10 my favorite liquid eyeliner and it's so affordable and it lasts all day and it's just the best liquid liner it also comes in white you're going to need a white for this so i'm going to start with the white and just do a big wing huge the biggest wing that i can make myself do <laughs> with this white liner and obviously this is going to take me approximately 45 minutes to do because it always does. But I will try and, there's a hair to clean my face. I will try and do this so that you can see how easy this is to do and how opaque the white is. It's so good, but I, I recommend this liquid liner. I've tried a few whites this is the best one in my opinion so just making sure that i've got a decent amount of color on that brush so that is uh, the liquid liner the white liquid liner and now i'm just going to wait for that to completely completely dry. I feel like at this stage I look a little bit um, Johnny Depp, Willy Wonka, Umpa Loompa vibes. Not, I mean I don't mind it. <laughs> Not the vibe that I was going for actually. While that's drying I will just do, what was I going to do for my lips? I brought products over, ah here, the MUA Heroic Lip Liner because this is more grey toned, again, grey, slightly cooler toned um, bronzer contour, so I wanted a little bit, a little bit more cool toned lip, 
and I'm just scribbling in the whole lip with that just to like that's what I'm doing so I'm going in with the black now and I'm gonna try and do little stripes <laughs> try being the word so I'm like taking off a lot of that product off the brush and again I do recommend these ones <laughs> I know I said at the beginning that this wasn't about the products, but it's about these. <laughs> these are the best. So, how do I want to do this? I might just... I haven't actually thought this through. <laughs> how I want this to go. I might go this way. It's so messy, but I quite like it. I am gonna like keep my head looking, or rather keep my eyes looking down whilst this completely dries so that it doesn't smudge any more than absolutely necessary. <laughs> I know it's already smudged. That is not the fault of the product. That's me being too eager to open my eyes and look at what it looks like. But I like how that looks. <laughs> now I don't need to try and make it look the same on the other side. Easy. Yeah. I think I am happy. I think if I if I keep on looking at it and like fiddling, I will end up not liking it. But that is how it's looking. I just realised I didn't even bring over a mascara, so I'm gonna go get a mascara on my drawers. <laughs> And put on some mascara. I want something quite like lengthening and fluttery and not too thick so that you can still see all of this like detail that we've just spent however long putting in. So I'm going to use the Elf Lash and Roll. I'm just going to do a light layer. I know. When do I ever? But I feel like if I do too much then you'll lose the detail and I don't want that. Okay so that is one lightish layer on the top lashes and whilst I was finding that I saw this. A green liquid liner. I'm wondering if I will be able to like squiggle this on the bottom lashes to make the bottom lashes green against the purple of the lower lash line like I don't know if this is gonna work but it's working oh I feel like you can't see that from quite far away I'll try and do a few coats I wonder if putting the white liner on first. I am completely just making this up now. I'm having a play. I've gone rogue. Okay, so I feel like that has been entirely effective. I have green lower lashes. Why not? It's Halloween. So I did just put a little bit of the white liner liquid liner like across the lashes let that dry and then went over with the green and I feel like you can really see that colour I really hope that that's showing up on camera like it is in real life I can see that in real life and I love it so I just want a little bit oh I would say though if you were doing your your lower lashes like that I'd maybe do the eyes first because like wiggling the um liner brush like along your lashes that has like splattered but again the guy's dead it doesn't matter it's 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 fun okay it's fun so I want a little bit of something sparkly <laughs> on the inner corner so let's go in with lemonade this shimmer 
you see this one this shimmer here on a small brush and I'm gonna just tap that right onto the inner corner so it's green but it's green and reflective and bright and beautiful mm. and I feel like that little pop of something a bit more reflective right on the inner corner looks nice with the whole matte eye look and everything so I think I am just about done I love how that turned out is it an everyday absolutely not is Halloween meant to be no I am proud of how that's turned out. So that is me done. I think that that has turned out really well. Does it look a little bit like a zebra striped eyeliner? Yeah. Does it matter? No. <laughs> I really like, I mean, I like the contrast between like green and purple anyway. I love green and purple together on an eye look. And I think that this has turned out really, really well. I'm, I'm proud of how that's turned out. I would love to hear what you think as well. So I hope that that gave you a little bit of inspiration. If you already have a rainbow palette, this is a very easy sort of throw together Halloween-y sort of look. The, the liners I do recommend because they are fantastic i i just think that they are the best liquid liners and especially for a white to be that opaque on the first swipe i just think that they are fantastic hands down the best liquid liners so i hope that you found this inspiring i hope that you like the way that it turned out if you recreate this i would absolutely love to hear about it but until next time Thank you ever so much for watching. Bye.